Now let's continue with the former example. I just put the constants there, a, b, and c, such that the rational function 4x divided by x minus 1 squared times x plus 1 equals the right-hand side. But how to find those? Well, again, the procedure is to work backwards. So we start from the right-hand side. Yeah, so we start from the side where a, b, c are present, and we try to bring it back to a, a rational function with the denominator, the denominator equal to x minus 1 squared times x plus 1. So how can this be done? Well, a divided by x minus 1 should be multiplied by x minus 1 times x plus 1. And b, the second term, just needs x plus 1 to have this denominator, and uh, c should get x minus 1 squared. And then we may divide by x minus 1 squared times x plus 1. Yeah, so now we're sure that the left-hand side equals the right-hand side. Okay, now we get the terms. So we see that the quadratic terms, well, we have a of them, a times x squared, and a little bit further, we have c times x squared, and we have a b times x minus 2c times x, and we have a couple of constants, minus a plus b plus c, divided by x minus 1 squared, times x plus 1. Well, the numerator should be equal to 4x for numerous val values of x. So basically, this says that the, the numerator should be a linear function, for x. This can only hold if the quadratic terms vanish. Yeah, so how many quadratic terms do we have? Well, we have a plus c times x squared, and this should be zero. So a plus c should be zero. Yeah, there's no x squared in the original numerator, since this equals 4x. So, we have a couple of uh, 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 times uh, times x, so b times x minus 2c times x should be equal to 4 times x. So b minus 2c should be equal to 4. That's the number of, that's the coefficient of x. Well, besides 4x, there's no constant. So we have as a constant minus a plus b, b plus c, which should then be equal to zero, so there's no constant. So we have three equations in three unknowns, three linear equations, and uh, here we try to solve this system of linear equations by substitution, and um, what we did was adding the first equation to the third one, and then we get b plus 2c equals 0, and then we're able to solve the second and the third one. We get b is 2c equal minus 1, and if c is equal minus 1, we turn to the first equation, and we see that a should be equal to 1. Well, how to solve such systems of linear equations will be um, the typical topic of uh, linear algebra in the math 2 course. But here we succeeded in finding a is 1, b is 2, and c equals